everybody this is material girl 338 otherwise known as diane i'm doing this video because i got a couple of requests um some ladies have been looking at my work um on my old videos so i thought i would let you know uh exactly uh what i did for certain um designs now i did have a video um with peachy keen stamps and i i looked for it yesterday and i couldn't find it so i think that youtube took it off uh, I don't know why there was nothing wrong with it, but, um, I, I still have to look, I may have it on my external hard drive, but I have to check it. All right. So, um, a lot of you ladies liked my quilting designs, but this I've never shown before. So I'm going to show you what this is. This is a panel and it's a 3d, uh, quilting panel. And, uh, when I first got into quilting, I, I am an artist, so I like things that pop off the page. So that intrigued me. So when I learned how to quilt, I started with, I found this, um, this pattern and I did it. Now this is only one panel, so I'll show you the pattern, but I want to explain to you this particular quilt. So as you see, it's got, I put uh, batting in here and I made flowers for it. And then this all applique, and then these are um, double appliques, and I put the fabric here. Now this particular um, little doll has another pattern for a little baby, a rag baby, that goes inside her pocket. And then I added hair to it, uh, and this is... Um, this is a knitting thread. And then I put some, I put a pretty bow here. And then underneath a lot of them, like under, this is double fabric. This is double fabric. This is double fabric. These are double fabric. This is double fabric. So the faces, a lot of you ladies are interested in my faces and how I do them. All right, first let me show you the pattern. Now, this is the pattern. Now, I know you're seeing it backwards. I'll flip it back. I'll flip it over so you can see it. It's Dolly and Me, um, Dolly and Me block number eight. And it's Kuka, Kuka Manga. I think it's Kuka, Kuka Rumba Cottage. I think, I'm not sure, but I think this particular pattern uh, comes from Australia. I'm not sure because I, I went, I went searching when I first learned how to quilt. I was on that internet. I searched the world because I wanted to find different, uh, different patterns, but they had to intrigue me. So this particular one, as you see, I have it because I opened it up and I made, this is the pattern itself, you know, and then she gives you all, here it is, uh, Dolly and Me pattern correction. Oh, she gives you a, a pattern correction on there. And then where sees it where it's made. I don't know where it's made. It doesn't say it. So what I do is I take the pattern and I make copies. Now, this particular quilt has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine panels to it. But as you see the size of this, this is big. So this is a crib size quilt. If I was to do this, I think it would be, um, I think it would be like a, for a king size bed. So I said, when I did this first one, I said, wait a minute, this is really big. So, and I knew that if I was going to make all of this and attach them, it would be tremendous. So it was no way that it was going to fit a baby's crib. It's going to be overflowing. So. Okay, so now this particular pattern, what I did, of course, I made the copies. I printed out the copies, the butterflies and everything. And then I work with my copies and I leave the original alone. So I always have, you know, the original. So... Let me just put this back. Now I'll show you 
I'll have to do this later. It's take too long. All right. So this is the rest of this company. They have the Bessie Bear. This is Summer Afternoon with the little um, bunny rabbits. That's block number four. This is Raggy, Raggy Ann. Instead of saying Raggedy Ann, it's Raggy Ann. Okay. That's, and then All My Love. This is All My Love. This must be the entire um, quilt. And it gives you the dimensions here. So, all right. Then there's this one. And I think I sold this one. I made one and I sold it. I put it on my Etsy store and I sold it. Then this one is Dolly Dress Ups with the little girls. And what was funny was I had the, I had the fabric, the matching fabric. Some of the matching fabrics was at the time that of this coming out, these fabrics were pos you know, they were like um, all the rage. So they still are. I mean, you got to look for the fabrics. You can always look on, on Etsy or you can, you know, type in the pattern company. Uh, this one is the uh, Come Fly With Me. And then this one is Birdie Bear. Okay. So I think this is, down this is an Australian company. Right, so that's that. So this is this pattern and the ladies seem to like my faces that I do. So I'll show you. What I, I'm showing you what I have or what I do. Okay, so. This is um, Little Hiawatha. Let me put it over here so you can see it. Little Hiawatha. And I took a, a copy of the uh, comic book and I uh, traced everything. And I did it reverse. And I was able to make a panel. And then I hand painted this and I highlighted it. And then I did thread painting on the top. If you watch my other videos, I have this in another video, but I, I actually was making my girlfriend's um, future grandbaby a quilt so I was addressing it to her I was saying Mary Ellen this one still has to be appliqued because it's all not done and now this I have a painting of this because I painted and I have uh, all my artwork and they're g-claved so I have the panel each panel and I I love these kids these are like the Campbell soup kids but I I did the copy from my painting and then I made it out of fabric. And now all this has to do is I have to fin finish out the applique work. Let's see. I'm just going to show you some panels that I fooled around with. That I, you know, I was just fooling around. I just wanted to see what I could do. And, and this was just something that I... Again, I fooled around with, I wanted to make a face and I wanted to make the hair because I was doing uh, backpacks, I think, at that time. Hold on, guys. This is another um, embroidery design. This is another embroidery design and I had started it but I didn't really finish it so and they, these are cute these are little ducks these are adorable let me hold them up so you can see them better then I started to do a panel this is Betsy's closet but I think it's Benjamin's closet Betsy's closet is a little girl I made this quilt um for my future granddaughter and it is beautiful I have it upstairs um but I didn't, um, no, I did complete it. And uh, this, this is Benjamin's closet. So that's 
part of that of the little boys uh, collection. Let's see what else I got. Then I started to do a little cowboy section. And now what this is, is I have the Cricut. I have the Cricut machine. And I have a lot of Cricut uh, cartridges. So I cut the cartridge out. I cut the uh, design out with the cartridge. And then, you know, I, I traced it into the fabric. And then I made the design. But these, these are my own, like. You know, I added this and that. This is still part of Benjamin's. That's Benjamin's. This is... This was a Cricut's design, but... I added my own, uh, like I may added this, you know, the neck... And the face. You guys are interested in my faces. So. Let me show you. So I, I'm trying to look for the face that I did. On that particular pattern. That you ladies are interested in. So what I could show you is. These are Peachy Keen stamps, and I have a whole bunch of them. So the faces that you liked are like one of these. See what the eyelashes? It's this one. So what I do is I use Versamark. And I, I know you've seen it backwards. I'll flip it. Are you seeing Versamark? These are Peachy Keen stamps, and they come in different uh, sizes, and they come in different uh, styles. But these are the small ones. You want the big ones, the ones that are this size. You don't want the small ones because you can't do the faces with them. So I stamp with the Versamark. This is another Peachy Keen design for the babies. I, so I stamp with the Versamark, and then, and then I iron it to set it in. Then I start using my fabric markers. Now you have to test it first. You know, don't do it on something that you're gonna you're gonna do that you don't want to make no mistakes on. So then I iron it to set it, and then I use my fabric markers, and then I set it again. And then, well, of course, before I do that, I test it. I test it. I run it under cold water. And then I use all kinds of crayons. They have um, fabric crayons. I think it's called Rose Art. Okay? So that's how I do that. This, you ladies were interested in Dolly Days, and it's by Brandywine Designs. When I found this, I went crazy because it was so cute. This is my era. I grew up, I grew up, I was born in 1956. This is my era. <laughs> A lot of you. So, what I did was I always take, uh, I always print out, I print out the pattern. And then I enlarge it. Depending on what I'm going to do. So I make different sizes. Alright, so I make different sizes. And then I scotch tape the paper together. To make a panel. So this one has the face on it already. And all you have to do is take the uh, copy. I think it's, um, you know, it's the tracing paper, but it's for fabric. And then you could just copy this, you know, go over it with a pen, a pen, something sharp. And then create the face. And then you use markers. Um, or you can stamp the Peachy Keen... Um, you can do the Peachy Keen stamps. She gives you a lot of designs here. So, like I said before, I, I make copies of everything. And, and then I follow it from there. That's, this one is the Dolly Days. 
And this one is Dolly's Play Date. Okay, the, so they're two different ones. This one, what I did was... This is tracing paper, and I wanted to practice. I needed to practice on the face. So I wanted to see what it was going to look like, and I just practiced on it. And I did all the tracing on this one, particular one. If you watch my video on how to applique, you'll see why I do this. So, uh, let's see what I do. So this particular pattern is just with the Dolly Days. It's with the clothing, but it's beautiful. I mean, it's so adorable. You can do so much with this. And they, the kids have got gorgeous clothes. I don't know if you can see it. I mean, these are like the 1950s. We used to wear these. The rompers. I, I, I think that children were so beautifully dressed in the 50s and the early 60s. So, and then look at this one. She has little, um, let me get there so you can see it. She's got little bunny slippers on. <laughs> All right, so this is uh, Brandy Wine Design. And that's basically how I do my faces. You have you need stamps. There's a lot of stamps out there, but Peachy Keen by far has the cutest designs. And then I use Rose Art, the crayons, and then you know I do my highlighting with the Rose Art. These are just testers. I didn't really, you know, I was fooling around with them. I didn't know what I wanted to do. This one I'm I wanted to make a quilt with all like I said, I love you know things that pop and um I wanted to do daisies or flowers all over the quilt. So that's it, guys. That's, that's my technique, okay? If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please comment below. And please subscribe to my channel because I always have other videos coming in. Thank you, guys. Bye.